Look over here at this sequence. I have 2, 5 over 2, 8 over 3, 11 over 4, 14 over 5, and you can keep going. We are going to determine the limit of this sequence. The limit of the sequence is the ultimate number, the final number that your sequence is tending towards. And you can determine that usually through a limit. You can make everything more simple by making this 2 or 1. Now you can see the idea of what's going on. You have the numbers here in the denominator increasing by 1s, and in the numerator they're increasing by 3s. If you were to look at it carefully, you have something which is like 3 minus 1 or n in terms of a sequence rule. If you plug away in terms of fractions, you're looking here at 3n minus 1 over n. As n is equal to 1, this is what I have. As n is equal to 2, I get this. As n is equal to 3, I have this. Look, if n were equal to 3, I have 3 times 3 minus 1 over 3, which is an 8 over 3, and that's exactly what it is. Now that we've determined the sequence rule, what is the limit of the sequence? Plug away in terms of a limit. I have over here limit as n approaches infinity because we're looking for that ultimate number your sequence is tending towards. Use that rule, 3n minus 1 over n. Now when you're evaluating this, you can divide the numerator and the denominator by the variable n. I have 3n minus 1 over n, then I have a n over n. When I do this, I have a 3 minus 1 over n over 1. As n approaches infinity, this item here zeroes out. I'm left here with the numerator value of 3, which means this value of the limit is 3. And that also indicates that this sequence is going to be tending towards a 3, and that's the ultimate number of the sequence. The limit of the sequence will be 3, and it will be correct.